Uganda's parliament has passed a motion of seizure against Minister Pasi Sinamuganza, the State Minister for Housing and Urban Development. Having obtained the numbers required, that is more than half of the members of parliament, uh, I hereby declare that the motion has been carried, that Honorable Namuganza Pasi be censured. In a vote conducted yesterday during a special sitting, 348 members of parliament voted in favor of the motion, while five members of parliament voted against and the three others abstained. Those who have voted no are five, and those who have voted yes to the motion are 348. Now, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayewa, said he will inform the President of the session motion within 24 hours and the President Museveni will take the next step in effecting the session. And as required under Rule 109, uh, Subrule 13 of our Rules of Procedure, I will inform the President accordingly. <music> Now, yesterday, NUP principal His Excellency Bobby Wine and other leaders from the Red Camp paid a visit to Mulago Hospital to check on Makindi West Member of Parliament, Horrible Alan Sewanyana. However, when they got there, they were denied access to him by security. Of course, Chino Chongi Rokulago Kunigiri Ziwa, Nukti Siwati Siwanti Omuntu Bamu Siwa, Nene Baba Murade, Bakulembe Zivane, Tebakiri Ziwa Mulaba. But his lawyer, Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago, was able to access him and uh, he revealed that Sewanyana is in a worry state. Tasobola Kuyimiri, I know Rumi Guaman. Echo Kubiri, I know Rumi Guaman, Machfuba. Kati Machfuba. Sewanyana and Segirinya have spent more than a year in prison on murder charges among other capital offences and they are supposed to appear in court today in Masaka for their bail hearing and the details of that story will be coming your way right here on The Buzz UG. Application <laughs> Now, reports have indicated that President Museveni is under too much international pressure over his son, General Muhozi Kainerugaba's comments to capture and kill Kenyans. Uh, this was revealed by Remy Bahati, a Ugandan journalist based in the US, and uh, Remy adds that this pressure has also forced General MK to delete the tweets he posted two days ago on his Twitter platform. A trusted source tells me that President Museveni is under immense international pressure over his son's tweets threatening to capture and kill Kenyans. General MK has been forced to delete the tweets. Well, that is a statement coming from journalist Remy Bahati, based in the US. If you have been following my updates right here on the Buzz UG, recently I reported to you about General Mohozi Kanerugaba's intentions to capture and kill any Kenyan that would resist his aggression. He even dared his father to sack him again from the military if he wants. I'll keep you posted in case I get more details on this story. Well, lastly, Spice Diana has been questioned by some Ugandans on social media why she's quiet on the abduction of her friend Bobby Young. Spice Diana hasn't posted anything on her social media platforms demanding for the release of Bobby Young and yet she's expected to do so. Well, it's reported that at the time of his abduction, Bobby Young with other members on Spice Diana's team were coming from her concert in Barara. So a section of Ugandans are questioning why her social media platforms are still quiet on this matter. But uh, maybe she's doing underground work 
you know, reaching out to different detention centers and uh, making calls to big people in security. Yeah, so let's not be quick to judge her. Well, there you go. Uh, that is the latest update I have for you right here on the Buzz UG this morning. And uh, don't forget to get in touch with Haj Luzi Omsomi Wedua. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. And it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.